Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to the cabin on this uh, rainy day. And I don't mind this rain one bit either. We need it bad. It is so dry. The woods are really dry. I mean, you can't, uh, uh, you wouldn't dare think about start having a fire outdoors right now. Everything is so dry. So the woods needs it. My garden needs it. Even the road needs it. Where I did uh, in the last video, I used the tractor here in the box blade and I uh, fixed up the lower end of the road. Yeah, my last video, I used the tractor here in the box blade and I did the lower end of the road and uh, it was so dry that the gravel just wasn't packing down at all. It was just like a dust bowl. So we definitely need this rain. And my rain barrel needs it too. Uh, that's pathetic. Normally this time of year, this barrel would be almost full. And right now, as you can see, there's only a few inches of water at the bottom of the barrel. So we definitely need this rain. So today, we're gonna do a couple things. Over here where I'm gonna put my woodshed, we gotta haul a couple of trees out of here with the tractor, make a little more room. Then I need to dump a couple more uh, bucket loads of gravel here and kind of level this out a little bit. Then the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take the tractor and the box blade, I'm gonna do another little piece of the road. Should be a good day to do it today with the rain coming down. That'll keep the dust down and help the gravel pack. And then, after we're done for the day, we are going to make buffalo bacon burger bombs on the grill. Oh yeah!
Okay, those trees that I cut down were fir trees and uh, uh, they weren't in very good shape and uh, not even worth keeping as firewood. They're all punky, half rotted. They also have screws and nails in them. So I have to be careful of that too. So it's not worth my, it's not worth my effort to uh, try to make firewood out of them. Uh, I'm better off. I'm just going to dump them, take them up to the corner of my property and, uh, and dump them and they can uh, rot there. don't want to put the teeth down on this section of road because uh, there's a lot of big rocks it's really rocky uh, just underneath of that gravel so if I drop the teeth all it's gonna do is pull up a whole bunch of great big rocks and it's gonna be uh, it's gonna make a mess so I'm just gonna try to do it without putting the teeth down So you can see what I mean by rocky right here. Well, this is this is the rock ledge. It's you know this is all rock right across the road, sticking out of the road. So there's no way there's no way you could uh, have the teeth down here. That's just all big rock. Well, it's coming. I've had to do quite a number of passes on that road, but it's getting there. So now what I'm going to do is make a slight adjustment on the box blade so that it kind of leans back a little bit more so it's not taking as much of a bite and it's more to kind of smooth that road out a bit now. All 
right, done. And the uh, Woods box blade has done its job again. Road's looking good, better than it did anyways. And uh, these are mosquitoes. Mosquitoes are bad now. Um, yeah, so who's ready for some uh, bacon buffalo burger bombs? <laughs> I'm having trouble saying that. Buffalo bacon burger bombs. Okay, it's time for some uh, buffalo bacon burger bombs. Okay, um, I got this idea uh, actually on YouTube from a channel called the Barbecue Pit Boys. It was in my recommendations, and uh, so I checked it out. Um, so do check out their channel, and they got like almost 2 million subs, so you guys might have already heard of them before. Anyways, we're going to do it just a little bit differently than they did, uh, because they used beef, I'm using buffalo, and they used whole jalapenos, and I'm using sliced pickled jalapenos, because that's what I have. So to make these, you're just going to take some of the ground, some of the ground buffalo. So you have ground buffalo. You're going to need uh, cheese. I'm using uh, marbled cheddar and also bacon. I'm using the really nice thick sliced bacon. Look at that bacon. Mm-mm. Nice looking stuff. So, we're going to make our ball here. Kind of squish it in. Take some cheese. Put some cheese in it. So you're going to put a few pickled jalapenos in it, some more cheese on top. And I'm going to wrap that into a ball like so. Take some of that nice bacon, mm -mm. just wrap it around. There, we have a buffalo bacon burger ball. No, buffalo bacon burger bomb. <laughs> All right, we got the old Q heated up. Just set these right on the grill. Yeah. Yeah, I got a nice cool one, man. A ah, nice frosty Miller. Genuine draft. Ah. Cheers, my friends. Oh, yeah. I think these are ready. They're ready for me anyways because Oh, they smell good. Oh man. Mm. Hot. Wow. <laughs> Man, that is good. Oh. Oh, yeah.
Let me try again. I gotta get some of those um, jalapenos. Mm. That's really good. I mean, that is that is exceptionally good. Once you really get into the cheese and the bacon and the jalapenos with the buffalo, wow. I'm glad YouTube recommended that. I'm going to make these more often. Wow, these are really, these are really, really good. These are tasty. Mmm. Wow. All right, guys, I'm going to end the video right here. Again, thanks for hanging out with me today. I do appreciate it. Uh, smash the old thumbs up button if you don't mind. I appreciate that support. Uh, subscribe if you're new. Hit the bell icon to be notified of new videos. You guys take care of yourselves. Stay safe. And we'll see you next time back here at the cabin.